Hello kids, today we are going to be talking about deriving our multiplication facts. If we can derive our multiplication facts, we really do not need to be memorizing them like crazy. Some of you already have them memorized, but it is also a good way to check and for you to understand the concepts behind multiplication. So let's begin. What does deriving mean? Deriving means that we are going to work from something that we know to find out something that we don't know. So what is that multiplication fact that you always have trouble with? Well, the multiplication fact that I had trouble with in the past would be 7 times 6. Why? Because I hated skip counting in 7 and skip counting in 6 is not exactly easy. So how do I find out what 7 times 6 is by working from something that I know? Okay, first of all, we need to be able to read this. And I'm going to read this as 7 groups of 6. Let me write that down. 7 groups of 6. Okay? And I'm going to think, what is the multiplication fact that is near 7 groups of 6 that I already know? Let's try working backwards. If I have 7 groups, how about 6 groups of 6? No, that's not easy. How about 5 groups of 6? Now, I like 5 groups of 6 because... It is my 5 times table and everybody knows 5 times 6 is 30. Okay, because skip counting in 5 is easy. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So this is something that I know. I know this. Let me write it down. I know it. And now how do I work from 5 times 6, which I know, to get 7 times 6? Now 5 times 6, you see 7 groups of 6 and this is still 6. So this I'm going to read it as 5. Five groups of six. Okay, so let me show you five groups of six. It looks like this. Five groups, one, two, three, four, five, and each group has six. Okay, these are equal groups, five groups of six. Now, if I want to go from five groups to seven groups of six, I need another two groups of six, right? Okay, if I have five and groups of six and I want to go to seven, I need to add two more groups. Okay, so let me write that down. If I want seven groups, I need to add plus two groups of six. Okay, five groups to seven groups. I need to add another two more groups of six. Now, two groups of six, how many is in there? Two groups of six means I need to add 12. Yes, I need to add 12. So let me move this here. I need to add 12 to the number of cubes that was already here. Okay, so five groups of six is 30. And I add another two groups, which is 12. So that will give me 30 plus 12. Count in tens and count in one. So 30. 40, 41, 42, and that would be there. Okay, now at the beginning, you're going to be doing this a bit slower. Yes, but as you get the hang of it, it's going to come to you naturally and faster and more quickly how many groups we are adding. I'm adding two groups of six. So two groups of six is 12, and I'm just going to add 12 to what I already know. So this is called deriving your facts. This is just another example. In our previous video, we did 10 groups to 9 groups. But I really wanted to touch on this because this is one of the multiplication facts that a lot of people get wrong. Yes, another one that people get wrong would be, um, or cannot remember, would be 8 times 6. Yes, if I read 8 times 6 as 8 groups of 6, right? How do I move from this to this? Seven groups of six, eight groups of six. I basically have to add in another group of six. Now, if I know that seven groups is 42, eight groups would be adding one more group. So I'm just going to add another group of six. Yes, 42 plus six is just 48. Okay, so see, just from one multiplication fact that I knew, I was able to derive two more. Okay, you can even derive six times six. 
right? By adding one more group of six. Five groups of six to six groups of six is just adding a six. 36. So basically, guys, all I needed to know was this one multiplication fact, 5 times 6, which I'm sure a lot of you already know. And I can derive these three other multiplication facts that was difficult for me to remember. Now, for those of you who have already remembered it all, this is a good way to check. You know, sometimes we might get it mixed up, but this deriving and understanding groups off will help you to check your answers. I hope you understand.